today we're going to customize our weapon properties in Scrap Mechanic. And to do that, you're going to open up Steam, go to your library, right click Scrap Mechanic, Manage Browse Local Files. And then the files we are going to be editing are located in Survival. And then Scripts, Game, Tools, and we're going to be editing Shotgun, Rifle, and Gatling. And I've already edited the properties on some of these scripts. I'm going to open it in Notepad here. Uh, pretty much all of the properties you can edit um, about right here and these are the ones that I've changed and you can just experiment with what these values do in game some of these if you set them to zero it won't shoot at all so you have to be careful about that but like I have my fire cooldown set to 0 0.01 so if I actually open up my game here and I'm gonna go to one of my survival worlds I don't really care which one doesn't matter um, make sure that you have cheats enabled if you're going to do this. I have a video link on how to do that in the description. But you're going to need cheats in order to spawn in the guns if you want to use them. You can edit the files fine, but if you actually want to spawn in the guns and just mess around with them, you'll need cheats. Let's see. Slash Gatling. There we go. If you set your fire cooldown to really low, then you're going to want to have unlimited inventory so that your ammo doesn't get exhausted immediately. So, you know, the really fun part about this is that if you want to change any of the properties, you're going to have to go back into your file, and then I can edit them here, maybe set it to 1, save it with Control S, and then in order to actually see the effects, I'm going to have to leave the game and load it again. Now that it's loaded, you can see that the changes are actually effective. I set the fire cooldown to one second. Here's what it looks like at one second. You can also modify the normal spud gun's fire cooldown to make it shoot really fast if you just click fast, but the Gatling gun is nicer because you know you can just hold it down because it's fully automatic. I exit the game here and edit the fire cooldown a little more. Maybe 0 0.001. Fire velocity, why don't we make that insanely high? Wow, it doesn't even show up now. That's great. So sometimes it just won't work at all and you gotta figure out how to what you did wrong. The bad thing about Notepad is that you can't undo more than one step, so if you make a mistake, you're going to have a problem. I would recommend using Notepad++ or Visual Studio or Visual Studio Code or something like that. In the case of any code editing, I'd recommend you back up your files before you edit them. Back up your potato-gatling.lua and stuff like that. Oh my god. Look at that. That's beautiful, eh? And it's gone, okay. <laughs> I added like 5,000 knockback or something to this gun, so. Woo! Look at him go. If you wanna know how to spawn stuff, I'll have a spawning tutorial in the description too. You can use different um, uh, sights and stuff for different guns if you want to, based on this renderables array here. See, this is the site that I'm referencing. It's in, if we go up to data, character, char tools, char spud gun. All right, so if we go to site, site basic is the one that's actually used for the normal spud gun site. This is the basic spud gun site. The Gatling gun is normally just a circle without that um, aiming reticle, but I just added that because it's nice to aim. Let's see, barrel, it's a different few barrel, I'll take the fire barrel. So, if I just copy this name, then I can do this, and it's in barrel underscore fryer. Save that, make sure I spell it all right, exit. If you, if you misspell something, if you misspell a file location, or file path, then it just won't work. Ah, there we go.
So I've replaced the normal Gatling gun barrel with the fryer barrel of the fry shotgun. Not sure why you'd want to do that, but you can. I could probably make it nothing at all if I just delete this. Yeah, now it's just a sight. I guess that broke it. Oh! Still works, it just doesn't display any bullets. It's pretty cool. If you want to copy my fire, uh, my weapons properties, you can look at the screen now. Bye bye.